Hello friends, good morning, hope you are doing uh, fine. Today we will discuss how to calculate uh, uh, the LT throughput. So I will tell you the detailed process how this uh, 100 Mbps is uh, calculated in the downlink as a max peak rate for LT services according to the 3 GPP specifications. So we have to take in take into account few details about LT. So from the 3 GPP specifications we have uh, let's say uh, we'll talk about one radio frame. So in one radio frame we are having 10 uh, sub frame. Uh, we have already uh, many times discussed uh, with many sessions. So I think we are very clear about the radio frame of LT. So one radio frame is uh, 10 uh, subframe each having one millisecond uh, uh, you know timing so each 10 subframe is divided into 20 slots so one radio frame equals to 20 slots uh, so one subframe will have two slots one time slot is 0.5 millisecond long so that's why 0.5 plus 0.5 is 1 millisecond for one subframe which is two slots. The second point is one time slot is equals to seven modulation symbols if we are using uh, normal cyclic prefix. If we are uh, using extended cyclic prefix then the number of symbol per slot will be uh, six. So that is another point to remember before calculating throughput. Uh, then uh, bits per symbol per modulation symbol that is also very important which we have covered in the session so for one uh, uh, you know modulation symbol if it is 64 qam then we are having six bits per symbol if we are having uh, 16 qam four bits per symbol and accordingly so let's take the highest uh, modulation uh, uh, you know uh, technique and the highest symbol at six bits per symbol uh, then the next thing uh, we should remember before calculating throughput is uh, output uh, resource is managed in LD arch per the resource grid okay so let's talk about just one resource block so one resource block is uh, 12 sub carriers we all know so 180 um, kilohertz uh, 12 sub carrier so 15 kilohertz per sub, sub carrier in one resource block in frequency domain in time domain it's one slot 0.5 millisecond so assume 20 megahertz frequency we have been allocated um, so in 20 megahertz we'll get 100 resource block excluding the uh, guard bands so 100 resource block with normal cyclic prefix means seven um, you know seven symbols per slot and uh, the bits per symbol per modulation symbol let's say six because we are taking highest order modulation that is 64 qua so now we can calculate uh, the throughput so uh, the number of bits in the subframe would be 100 source blocks a second that means two slots so in one subframe we'll have 100 resource block into 12 sub carriers into two slots and seven modulation symbol for each uh, you know uh, slot um, because we are using the normal cyclic prefix into six bits as we are using 64 qam the highest modulation technique so it would be around uh, one lakh and 800 bits which is equal to one M, you know 100 mbps if we uh, use four cross four mimo 40 for uh, four transmit antennas and four receiving antennas then we'll have four into 100 mbps equal to 400 mbps or uh, it's it's exactly 403 mbps so let's say we are using three by four coding scheme that means three bits out of four uh, are uh, you know and one error correction bits so it would be uh, 403 mbps into 0.75 if we're using three by four uh, coding 
so it would be around 300 to mbps okay so 300 to mbps uh, with fortress 4 mimo and if we don't use mimo at all we are having at least 100 mbps speed in the downlink with 20 megahertz frequency band available so that's how we calculate the LT throughput I hope you enjoyed and learned end to end how we calculate the throughput in LT thank you so much for watching once again I'll summarize we need the frequency band okay so that we can get the number of resource block we need a uh, you know cyclic prefix preferences we need a uh, uh, modulation uh, scheme details we need uh, uh, MIMO configuration details and coding so taking all this account we can always calculate what is the throughput so that's why I have given an example a successful example so that you can correlate and understand how to calculate throughput in LT technology uh, I hope you enjoyed and learned thank you so much for watching please keep sharing subscribing and liking the videos and please do comment for more updates or some new chapter to be included in the discussion thank you so much for watching take care bye bye